Hey, how we doing, survivors? Paul Soros Jr. here. It's July 26, 2012, and I just wanted to give you a quick heads up that Minecraft 1.3 pre-release is out, and it's up on the moyang.com website. It's right here. In fact, this is their website, and I just wanted to point out a few things, and then I'm going to show you how to install Minecraft 1.3 pre-release if you don't want to wait for the official release next week. It's due out on the 1st or the 2nd. I know it says the 1st here, but um, I did see a tweet, I think it was yesterday, that uh, Jeb said it was going to be out on the 2nd. So I don't know, someone's got their wires crossed. But anyway, um, take a look at this. Go ahead, head over here. I'll put a link down below to moyang.com and watch this little video right here. If you want to create a commercial showing off all the new features of 1.3, then uh, you will get a spotlight right here and uh, on the Moyang YouTube channel, apparently. So, hey, pretty cool stuff. I'm not going to do that. I just don't have the time. But um, if you guys are interested, it might be worth looking into. But um, I've been getting a lot of questions about the uh, the snapshots and how to install them and everything. And if you don't want to wait till next week, then, well, I'll show you how to do it right now. I guess one of the first things you want to do, of course, is to download the Minecraft.jar and the Minecraft server.jar. So this, it's been broken down into two components now. So it's not as easy as it was before. You have to install both of these. And again, this is just, uh, just to see the pre-release stuff um you can wait till next week and it's going to automatically update but um i know people like to, to to tinker so let's do this so save you're going to right click and do save link as and just remember where it's going i'm going to have mine go right to my downloads folders minecraft.jar um, if it says dot zip then you may want to go over here and do all files and make sure it has a dot jar extension um, mine's set up to do dot jar so i'm going to go ahead and do that right click save as i'm gonna do the same thing with a server it should be minecraft underscore server dot jar and if you don't have those extensions showing i'm going to show you how to get those as well so anyway uh, just you know remember where those go again mine go to um my downloads folder which is right here and actually let me show you right now how to get to those extensions because sometimes they don't show you this has to say ex executable jar file if this is a zip file you're going to have problems running it. So why don't we go over here to uh, Folder and Search Options. And this is Windows 7, by the way, but um, if you're using Vista, it should be relatively um, familiar. And, and what you're seeing here, it should be the same. XP might be a little bit different, but the, the principles are the same. You're going to go to Options, I believe, in, um, in XP. But anyway, so you want to go here and click Show Hidden Files, Folders, and Drives under the View. And... Um, show hidden and, blah, 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 and where's the extensions and make sure this is unchecked hide extensions for known file types see I already have it unchecked and I have hidden files and folders shown which we're going to need in the next step which is um, so once those are downloaded I'm going to go to your start button and you're going to type in in this command window right here in this little text box a percent symbol app data percent symbol so it's App data percent symbol and then hit enter just like that and this is going to bring you to your Windows app data folder and Minecraft should be somewhere near the top because they put a period before their folder name and uh, that was slick I guess on their part but uh, it does cause some problems with renaming this folder and in some installations of Windows um, doesn't let you rename this without removing the period first so we're gonna do that right now we're gonna back up our folder because we don't want to have any issues with it. Um, I don't want to be responsible for people losing their stuff. I don't want to hear about it. This is, uh, when you tinker like this, you take on the risk of blowing away your Minecraft save folders or, or, or the entire thing. So, so um, to be safe, we're going to start a whole new folder. So what I do is remove the period. And as you can see here, I've got a ton of various Minecraft folders with my different series that I record uh, mod reviews, my adventure series, mine Z, etc., etc. I've got uh, probably 20 other buggers, maybe more. So I'm just going to call this one BAK. So rename to BAK, and that's going to go down here so it's nice and safe. So now we're going to run Minecraft, and I've got a handy dandy button right here to run Minecraft, and just close it down. And as you can see here, it opens up a whole new folder. It creates a new folder, .minecraft. It's empty for the time being. But um, we want to get some stuff in there. Um, there's a couple of ways we can do this. You can actually copy from in here. You can take all this stuff. So open up your Minecraft underscore dot BAK. 
and click on the top, hold down the shift button, or you can actually just do this, organize, select all. Then you're gonna right click everything blue and you're gonna do copy. Don't do cut, you wanna do copy. Then we're gonna go back, we're gonna go back up to roaming, go to Minecraft, right click in here and paste. And that's gonna paste everything back in. So we still have our backup here, which is safe and sound. We haven't modified that in any way, but now we have our new Minecraft folder with all of our other stuff already in here. So now we can we can safely mess around with our saves or do whatever we want, and it'll have our login information and our options um, for video settings and so forth. All hunky-dory, all here, ready to roll. Now we are going to have to add a new folder here because we're going to copy over the Minecraft server jar. So click on New Folder. And we're going to call this Server, just like that. And then we're going to go to our downloads folder and grab our downloads. So go to, I have it handy dandy right here, but you can go through, you can navigate through your name and go that way. But I'm going to grab this one. Now I have a ha app data right here in my library, which makes it real easy for me to get over here and drag and drop. But if you don't have a situation like that, you can just do this. Just copy minecraft.jar. And then go back to your folder, which you should have open somewhere here. Go to the bin, and minecraft.jar is gonna go in this bin folder. You should have one here already. You can delete that one. Just select it and hit delete, and then paste in the new one. And I know I'm going fast here because this is supposed to be a short video, but uh, so minecraft.jar, the new one here is in, the one that's dated today because I just downloaded it. I'm gonna go back to downloads. And you could do this too. You could just get a smaller window if you'd like. Um, right click copy now we're going to copy the minecraft underscore server dot jar over to let's go back to the minecraft folder here into the server folder right click and paste so now we have uh, we have the new dot jar here pre-release 1.3 in the bin and then in the server we should have that and that's that's pretty much it now i'm going to go and grab a an overview map that i have from a prior overview that i did not too long ago with my son and that was probably under I believe this one so I'm just gonna grab this world copy that and then bring it over here and punch it in here and okay so now I'm just gonna go and run Minecraft and let me just I don't usually play in a max window I play in a 720p and here we go. So, oh, I have a, this is my Mine Z texture pack. I'm gonna go to single player, open up my overview world, and I think this should be in relatively good shape. But I think this is before we get started. Oh, and the signs are fixed, cool. Yeah, and here we go. So there you go. Now you should be, let me go back to the main screen. Yep, Minecraft 1.3, right there. It works. And if you can log into one of, well, you can create a whole new world if you like, and it's gonna be a 1.3 world and you should have some of the new stuff so in fact we can go to world options yep we have the loud cheats on bonus chest why not and let's do that building and here we are minecraft 1.3 ready to roll and look at all the goodies look at you kids these days stuff is just given to you it's right here right at spawn oh yeah we got the new tabs Boy, I'll tell you, back in the day, I had to walk to school barefoot in the snow, uphill, both ways. Now you get starting chest. Hmm. So here you go, and that's a good indication that everything's working okay, because now that the server is separated from the client, it does load the chunks a little bit slower. All right, let's go back to uh, my overview world that I had all pre prep prep prepped. So here it is. What the devil? <laughs> yeah, Chirper Brian. Chirper Brian was making things interesting when I was doing this overview. So here we have, uh, I'm not going to go through the whole overview again. You can go watch that video if you like. But writable books, new golden apples, the ender chest. Beat it. Trip wire. Ender chest there. Awesome stuff. Um... Trip wires, I did trip wires, emeralds, 
we've got the ores that give you experience points now and you can actually get experience from smelting um, the new half slabs and the new stairs for the wood all the various wood colors oh yeah these um, these bases here these temples that you'll find scattered around in the desert and so forth and uh, yep the stuff that comes out and goes back in when you're done with it like water see and lava yeah oh yeah um, nether wart grows in the real world now anyway yeah I'm not gonna go through them all <laughs> you've already seen all that but I did want to give you an idea of how to install it so I hope that helped and uh, and once again just make sure that you make that server folder and you copy overwrite um, the minecraft.jar here but you know again critical critical that you make sure you back everything up before you do any of that all right I think that about covers it. Hope you all enjoyed. And by the way, there's also, if you click on this link right here on the Mojang website, Mojang, Mojang, Mohang, whatever you want to call it, um, it brings you to this comprehensive list by uh, Redstone Helper on Reddit, which has everything in 1.3. Quite a piece of work here. Very nice. Very, very nice. All right, I'm out of here, folks. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.